To name a cycloalkane, we look at how many carbons are present within the cycloalkane. If it's three carbons, that will be cyclopropane, four carbons is a cyclobutane, five carbons is a cyclopentane, and six carbons is cyclohexane. When we have only one substituent, we do not need to state the position of what is the alkyl branch. We just say what is the name of the alkyl substituent in front of the name of the cycloalkane. We have seen here the molecule of methyl cyclobutane and methyl cyclohexane, methyl cyclopropane and methyl cyclopentane. So we have the structure in both cases. One is only showing skeletal and this one is showing the alkyl substituent with the condensed formula. This one is a butyl cyclohexane, ethyl cyclopentane, and propyl cyclobutane. When naming monosubstituted cycloalkanes, always place the name of the alkyl substituent in front of the no substituted cycloalkane. For example, in here we have one methyl group that is replacing one hydrogen in cyclopropane. Therefore, this is methyl, this is one methyl group, methyl cyclopropane. Please remember that there is one hydrogen left in this carbon. So that one is a cyclopropane that is attached to one methyl group. We have a set of constitutional isomers. We have here a cyclopropane that has two methyl group substituents within the same carbon. There is no hydrogen left in this carbon, so we have four bonds. Therefore, this is a quaternary carbon. When we look at the second cyclopropane that is disubstituted, we have one, two, three carbons, but in this carbon we have one hydrogen left. In this one we also have one hydrogen left, so the carbon can make an octet, and we have two alkyl substituents. When it's time to name these cyclopropanes, the first thing that we need to remember is cyclopropane because it is three carbons long, and it's cyclo because it is a cyclic. It's not a branch, it's no straight chain alkane, but it's forming a ring. We have the A and E ending because it's the family of alkane. Then we have methyl groups. We have two methyl groups, so we are using the multiplier di to indicate that two groups of the same are within this cyclopropane. Now we need to place number one and one, indicating that the two methyl groups are attached to the same carbon. If we look at the differences between these two names, the only difference that we observe is the position of the methyl groups. Because in the second case we have a cyclopropane with two methyl groups, but both of these methyl groups are in different carbons. So we have carbon one and two, each one of them with one methyl group attached. It is also very important to remember that when we are numbering this cycloalkane, we are not going to number looking for the longest route, but looking for the shortest route for the number. I cannot say one, two, three, because my numbers will be one, three right here. But I have to say one, two, or one, two. It doesn't matter which one I select as number one, as long as the second carbon will also take a number two. When we see the third structure, this one has three substituents. And we have one methyl in this carbon and two methyls in this one. So we know that we have, and let's write it down, we have one, one, and two trimethyl cyclopropane. We have one extra one that I need to explore with you guys. This one has three substituents, but I can also bring a brand new molecule with three alkyl group substituents, and that, will be, that, that one will be 
when I have my alkyl group and each one of the carbons is attached to one methyl group and that one is a one, two, three trimethyl cyclopropane. We know that when we have mono-substituted cycloalkanes, we do not need to state the position of the alkyl substituent. In this case, we are showing di-substituted cycloalkane. It will be important to state in what positions the substituents are at. In the first case, we have a di-substituted cycloalkane, and both of the methyl groups in this case are within the same carbon. We have constitutional isomers for one one dimethyl cyclopentane and we say that this one is a one one dimethyl cyclopentane because both of the alkyl groups are within the same carbon and they are constitutional isomers because they have the same number of carbons the same number of hydrogens but different connectivity from atom to atom. When we say that they are constitutional isomers, is because they have different kind of carbons. For example, this one is a quaternary carbon, when this one are two tertiary carbons. They are tertiary carbons because they are both attached to three carbons. This one is a tertiary carbon because it's attached to three carbons. One, two, and three carbons. This one is also a tertiary carbon because it's attached to three carbons. One, two, and three. This one is a quaternary carbon because it's attached to four carbons. One, two, three, and four. And we ignore the rest of the carbons. We have two different constitutional isomers with two methyl groups. Every time that we assign the numbers so we know that they are going to be dimethyl cyclo pentane, dimethyl cyclopentane and dimethyl cyclopentane. The difference will come when we see the positions of those two methyl groups. When we assign the numbers, we need to label this cycloalkane and this is going to be a carbon number one and this is going to be carbon number two. My second option is to say that this is carbon number one and this is carbon number two. It doesn't matter which one I am picking as long as I pick looking at the shortest route to assign the number. When it comes to the second one, I have two different choices and there is only one right answer. And that is, this is carbon number one, two, and this is carbon number three. If I select a different round, that will be wrong. If I select one, two, three, and four, my name will have a one, four, and that will be the wrong answer. We need to make sure that when we add the prefixes numbers, they are giving us the smallest number. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. In this case, 1 plus 2 is 3. And my second choice, if I go using the long route, it will be 1, 5, and the sum of that is 6. So that is not the right number. When we look at the last case, in this case we see that the substituents have different initial. This is an ethyl group and this one is a methyl group. So when assigning, when assigning the name for this substance, I must assign a number, the smallest number, because they are at the same distance. I need to select to say here this is ethyl will take number one and methyl will take number 3. Therefore, my name is 1-ethyl-3-methyl-cyclopentane.